It's not every day that a magazine acts as studio assistants to one of the world's most influential artists, but one night this past August, W editors were on New York's notorious island jail, Rikers Island, as a Chinese model stood naked in the shower. Half a world away, the dissident Chinese artist Ai Weiwei was watching from his studio in Beijing. In a historic collaboration, Ai Weiwei was directing the artwork he'd conceived for W's art issue via Skype. We had set up a laptop inside a shower at Rikers so that I could watch the scene unfold from his home studio in Beijing, where he is now under house arrest. Does it feel like something you uh, identify with? Uh, yes. Yeah. The work we were creating is called Enforced Disappearance. It depicts the arrest and detention of a woman by undercover police. This is Ai's first major work since being released in June from his 81-day detention by Chinese authorities. Given that he is under round-the-clock surveillance in Beijing and banned by the Chinese government from discussing his detainment, using the internet, or even leaving the city, we were never entirely sure how long we would be able to communicate with him, which is why we decided to shoot the entire portfolio in one long night. To give us an idea of the documentary-style snap quality he wanted to create, I sent images that he had taken during the Tompkins Square riots in New York in 1988. His touchstone for the work was not only those he took of the riots, but other scenes of arrest he's witnessed. The portfolio, he said, shows an anonymous person in London, Beijing, an Arab nation, or elsewhere. The individual can be charged or not charged at all, with no clear explanation. I am using my personal experience to address the condition. It was thrilling and surreal to have him present as we made the work. Photographer Max Viducal literally acted as an extension of him. Is there a table in this situation with a light on it, or there is no table? Well, it depends from what angle you're, you're seeing. If you see from the interrogator's perspective, you see a corner of the table. It was exhilarating to see Ai's familiar face floating on the screen, though we had to work quickly because we knew that at any moment we might be cut off. Good. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Once more. Apart from the incredible restrictions he has been facing, it made sense to do it by Skype, given that I is well known for integrating technology into his daily life and art. For him, technology and social media are a kind of performance art in which we are all participants. One of the strangest parts of the shoot came when we shifted locations to Chinatown in Queens. There were a lot of people on the street, so we put a hood over the laptop to prevent I from being recognized. Putting a hood on the laptop had a stinging irony to it, since one of the images that I outlined included a hood being placed over the person under arrest. For the cover, the model was dressed in Alexander Wang and being pulled off the street by two undercover policewomen. W Editor-in-Chief Stefano Tonki worked with the model and Viducal to choreograph the movement. I saw our cover and magazine as another medium to get his work out to the public in a new way. The conversation very much, the light, lighting very much, the, the, thing, the thing's very much close to the reality, so it's a very strong piece in, in any circumstance. 